What's up everyone and welcome to our live stream of Yoshi's Woolly World. Uh, I saw some people asking which version this is and yes this is indeed the Australian version which I'm playing on my UK Wii U or European Wii U. So I actually was able to change a region to get a few hours early in Australia and that's the one we're playing right now which pretty much should be identical to the US one. Uh, there might be some mild translation differences. Uh, so anyways, this is a file I just started. Um, all you missed is the beginning of the game, the little intro. If you want to go see it, we posted a video already. Um, so go check that out if you want. Otherwise, we're going to launch right into it here. Um, some people asked if I have done, if I've tried out the amiibo mode, or amiibo in this game. I have. I already recorded a video for that. And that'll be going up pretty soon, too. I scheduled it for 7 p.m. my time, so in about an hour. Uh, and we'll probably check it out during the live stream as well. But for now, I just want to get going, just want to check out some levels, and we're going to start off with 1-1 here, because we don't have any other choice, really. And why wouldn't you ever start off with 1-1 anyway? So I will be showing off Amiibo skins, don't worry. I'm going to turn up the game on my end so I can actually hear it. Here we go! This is the demo level we played at E3 last year, it looks like. So hopefully I'm pretty good at it, even though I did not I actually did not play this game at E3 at all this year, despite being there. Um, I knew I'd be getting it pretty soon after E3, so I don't want to waste time with it. Well, not waste time, but you know what I mean. Alright, so we can make some yarn balls. I actually already made one. And let's see, how do I aim? Right trigger, okay. Oh, I love that. Except I screwed it up. We gotta love that old school Yoshi's Island. Egg tossing or yarn tossing in this case. What? Okay, I gotta eat it. Alright. So I'm using the gamepad right now, but I know with the Wii Remote you are able to tilt it to aim your eggs, so maybe we'll try that later. But I'm a pretty big fan of how the aiming worked in Yoshi's Island, so why well, mess with a good thing, right? Alright, we did the same, Mr. Box. Alright. Well, I think I'm one step ahead of you there. Got a whole bunch of yarn balls here. Oh, so there is one thing. Oh, no, you can. Okay, good. You can still hold up too. It's still aim up. All right, that's good. Never mind. I retract my there is one thing. It's all good. Although I do wonder if you're aiming. Can I hold up to aim up? Yep. All right, so the controls are straight up Yoshi's Island style, which is awesome. Oh, look at all those gems or beads or whatever they are. Now, heads up, I I will I'm gonna be straight up. I am going to I'm sure I'm gonna miss a lot of secrets along the way, because when you're streaming, at least when I'm streaming, I get tunnel vision, so I'm I'm gonna miss some very obvious things. I am sure. So I'm not gonna try and get 100% or anything. So that's my excuse at least. Some big Yoshi's got some big balls with him right now. <laughs> oh, why did I come up here? I need to go back down now. Oh, this game is just adorable looking. I love how I just love the uh, look of the uh, the wool or the yarn. I think it, they did a much better job here than they did even in uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, which also is a good looking game. Don't get me wrong, but it feels more complete here based on what I've seen so far. I love you can just tear away the world. Tear away. That's a PlayStation game. <laughs> Not a Nintendo game. What's up, shy guy? Oh, you heard me! Jeez. See, this level seems to be, as far as I can tell, identical to last year at E3. I mean, if there's any changes, they are very minor. I got myself uh, Wonder Wool. Looks like there's five of them each level. I think those unlock. Whoa, where am I going? I think those unlock uh, additional Yoshi skins or something. If I remember correctly from what 
Nintendan told me. They're just so charming. So, so happy. Oh, we got a nice little happy flower there. Got a nice little happy cloud. Got an unhappy shy guy that just ate. He's probably not too happy about that. Got a little happy Wonder Wool. This is basically like Bob Ross the game. <laughs> Which, they were actually making a Bob Ross game on the Wii for a while. Never happened. Don't know why they didn't finish it. Alright, here is the end of the first level. And you can't in fact go past the goal. That's key. So this is WeWave57's first Game Explained stream. So welcome to our first stream. Hopefully it's a good one. <laughs> I really don't know. I was not planning to do this stream today. I thought it was going to be yesterday. But the game came out in uh, Australia a little bit earlier than Europe. So I figured why not stream it as soon as I can, right? Bonus game time! I have not seen this yet. Alright. I think I just need to want to just get as much fruit as possible. Hopefully there's no, like, order to it. Oh, what's something's gonna drop here? Oh, no, there's one at the top that's moving. Oh, only two seconds left? What? Alright, I wasted a lot of time. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try better next time. That was not great. These look like little scratch-off things. Oh, are they? Nope, I'm using the gamepad. They are, they don't seem to be. Can I tap them, maybe? Yeah, they look like a lottery or something. Oh, well, I got power badge, lets you skip courses. You can use it in mellow mode. So, speaking of which, you can switch between the two modes uh, at any time from the world map. Which I'll show you here. Yeah, just press my, uh, yeah, press minus, you can switch it to mellow. I will try that out in a little bit. For now, we'll stick with, um, classic. Alright, what does me have to say? That's a nice little drawing. That's cute. Using stickers, actually, I'm guessing. Stickers from the game, presumably. We'll head into World 1-2. It's got a Bouncing Shy Guy. You can't go wrong with Bouncing Shy Guys. They're really Shy Guys in any form, I would say. Uh, especially Gourmet Guys from Paper Mario. So, Power Badges. Exchange, exchange beats or badges that give Yoshi amazing powers. To clear the course badge, that looks pretty intense. And I can, can I afford it already? I have 24 bad, 2400 bad, or uh, gems it looks like. Hmm, all right. Maybe I don't buy it there? I'll figure it out, eventually. Uh, so Awesome Pie is surprised that Australia and Europe got it already. Yeah, the game is out now in Australia. Uh, maybe Europe? I don't know. I know it came out later in Europe. I don't know if it's available yet. Or, I think it's not available for a few hours there. Uh, but yeah, it's, even then it still takes a little while to download and install. So we're playing the European version, which means I can literally show up, show up as much as I want in the game. Um, so I don't know how far I'll play. We'll see. I plan on beating it tonight. I don't know if I'm going to live stream the whole thing, though. Maybe I will. We'll see. It's already 6 o'clock my time. I don't know if I have the energy to talk for that long. Just because this is... Oh, no, come on, get up there. Oh, I made it! Just because I'm still pretty tired after E3 week and hang out with uh, Tom and Derek, who just left last night, so... So, uh, yeah, someone else is asking if we'll show off Amiibo features. Don't worry, we will. I actually already recorded a video for it that's going up in an hour, or half an hour, really. But I'll show it off during the live stream, too. Look at those shy guys just bouncing around. Carefree. And then Yoshi comes in and just destroys them. Hey, secret. So that's the one key difference about this game, is that... Uh, although it's very similar to Yoshi's Island, you don't have Baby Mario here. So instead you have a conventional health bar. Actually, which is similar to uh, Yoshi's story. Actually, even the visuals really are a little bit similar to Yoshi's story, which also... Had the appearance of being made from real world materials. Oh. 
I like how you actually unwrap presents. That's kind of cute. Oh man, there was, there was more stuff back there. I'm like debating now. Should I go back for it? No, I've committed. I've committed to the right path. Well, maybe not the right path. The path on the right. Maybe not the correct path. There's a door there we can go behind. Let's go check that out. I better eat some of these balloons, sorry. Oh, camera switching! Or camera angle switching. And the last one proved to be a little bit tricky. If only because I was incompetent at jumping there. Bam! Man, what else did I gotta do to deserve that? I, mean, I don't regret it, but it's not not nice. Oh, what's happening? Transformation! Umbrella Yoshi. Oh, actually, it's what it's called. <laughs> no, that's not very original. So I can uh, ride the wind, apparently. So that's one weird thing here, is that the transformations are in little bonus areas instead of being part of the uh, natural level like they were in Yoshi's Island. So this is actually a little bit similar to uh, Yoshi's New Island, I believe, where they have like their own areas. Oh, do I need to get there? Oh, there we go, got a clock. Oh, I was down to the wire. Hey, Wonder Wolf. I'm actually doing a good job finding, finding them this time. All the beads, but I don't have time! Or do I? No, I don't. Oh god, what have I done? I made it! That's what I did. I made it. What's this? Beads, or gems, whatever they are, I'll figure it out. I think they're beads. Pretty sure the game called them beads. Oh! Can I get in there? What, what do I do? Oh, I need to throw yarn at them, I think. Maybe. No, oh, I feel like that'd be tricky. Does it be of that color? No. Does not. Okay. Well, that simplifies things. Racking up a bunch of these bead gem things. This might be the most redundant title I could have called it. Yeah, I like how the uh, springs even extend into the background. You can see them coming from the trees. That's a little. It's cool how they play with the depth a little bit. Dang! All right, here we go. Uh, Dem Drop is asking if the game runs at a smooth 60 frames per second. It seems to be. I've not noticed any drops while playing it. Uh, Phantom Prime is asking if the game feel good. It does feel good because the game's made. I feel good. Get it? Straw what Zulfi or whatever is asking how can we all those shy guys? I know, man, I know. We need a shy guy game. We play shy guys. All right, let's head on over to world 1-3 with Chain Chomps. Sponge Case Belunking. All right, let's check it out. Oh, here we go. Make all the yarn balls big. 
All right, let's give that a shot. Game Topic is asking if the controls are easy. They are. I mean, it's straight up Yoshi's Island controls, basically. So, yeah. If you can handle those games, you can handle this one. It's really not that much more complicated than your typical platformer. And maybe aiming eggs can be a little bit tricky if you're new to it, but... I imagine most of you probably played Yoshi's game before. Oh, do I want to go up here yet? Yeah, I do. Let's go up there. I do like how he gets his little, little wheels. It looks like a little segue when he's running. Whoa, dude, that badge is not kidding. <laughs> Those are all big yarn balls. That prom plan. You're not shy, guys. I feel less bad about murdering you. Yes, the game feels really good so far, uh, as I answered before. <laughs> um, it, yeah, no complaints yet, so... And you can use a D-pad as well, so... I'm actually gonna try that out for a little bit. I was using the control stick before. I'm not sure if it makes... Can you even walk with a control stick? No, I think it... Yeah, the control stick even forces you at a full run, even if you're... Even if you just tilt it slightly. So it seems like the D-pad is the best way to play this game. I got a stamp. Oh, that was a waste of an egg, kind of. I think it's worked out. Okay. I want to get up there. How am I going to do this? There's probably something super obvious I'm missing. I'm almost confident of that. Oh, we can go down there. No, I need eggs. Let me up! I wanna get up there! I'm gonna have to get some eggs, I think. Or yarn balls. They'll always be eggs to me. Here we go. There's a wonder wall down there too. Oh, that's it. I see. That wasn't just a sign, it was a crucial element. Here we go, at the goal once again. Oh, you're just so happy. How can you not just be so, like, joyful while playing this game? It's just... It's just so adorable and happy looking. Oh wait, I know why. I missed four Wonderwall! I'm not happy anymore! Granted, I wasn't really looking for them, but still. So I don't know what it is. Whenever I do these live streams... 
Literally, it's like a hot day every year. I am like sweating up a storm right now. I don't know why that is. Like any other day of the year, it's fine. But as soon as it, as soon as we do a live stream, it gets really hot in here. I don't like that. Oh, what's this? Looks like a castle or a fortress or something. What's this stuff over here? Can I interact with it? Nope. Talk to this me guy. He's using stamps again. Alright. We'll go to World 1 4. Big Montgomery's Fort. And. Uh, I don't think we need any badges this time. Although the big yarn balls were pretty helpful in that last course. Someone's asking when the reviews. Oh, that's what these things are. Oh, they're Meverse messages. Okay. I guess there just weren't any before. Or I hadn't downloaded any before. Anyways, um, someone is asking when the review is coming. That's a great question. I don't know. We typically don't review import releases. That also usually been because it's been Japanese and I haven't been able to read it. Uh, whereas this time, this is basically the, the, might as well be the North American copy. So, I don't know. Um, we are pretty busy with post E3 stuff. Like, still, we have a lot of analysis and discussions to get through. So, I have a feeling we won't be reviewing this, but you never know. I mean, we'll review it definitely when we get the American version in. God, these Monty Moles! God. Oh, uh, damn it, I wanted to eat them. There we go, or I'll just squish them. Oh, that's pretty bad. Oh. Hey, sweet. So, oh, left, you know, there's one thing I don't know if, Oh, you can't... Wow, you can even lock the cursor too in this game with the left trigger. Yep, it is just like Yoshi's Island. That is awesome. Jason JJ17 is asking, IGN got a review copy, why not us? So IGN got a European review copy, but they also have an IGN UK. Um, and an IG, IGN Australia. I bet, I'll bet you both those outlets got one. Um, IGN US, however, I'm... I almost guarantee you did not get one. Uh, so Nintendo deals with regional outlets. Um, we aren't technically a European outlet. I mean, not, and by technically, I mean not at all. Um, in that none of us actually live in Europe. But it is something we might look into at some point. Maybe getting into uh, contact with the European side as well. Before I... Oh, that's lava! Looks like a scarf. It's the deadliest scarf I've ever seen. I guess there are lava balls, there's just, or lava things, that should be a tip off. Also the steam coming off of it. Also the fact that it looks like lava, I mean that too. I'm, I'm gonna be straight up, that was my bad. I see a wonder wall up there. Oh, you can't use an egg at it. That makes them a little bit trickier. So there's one thing I do wonder. It, in Yoshi's Island, if you bounced off an enemy, you would get a... You could do a uh, flutter jump even higher than you normally could. And I don't know how they retain that in this game. But we're gonna find out here. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I, that looked pretty similar, though. Oh, it looks like there's a secret down there. You also can move while ducking. Oh, can I not get up this? There we go. That's cool. I like the three-dimensional of this. That also is a little bit like Yoshi's Island. Noticing a trend here. Almost like this is a Yoshi's Island game. Whoa, darn it. That gem that I missed right there is gonna bug me forever. Ah! <laughs> there we 
go. I made up for it. Yoshi King points out that I missed something down there. I'm sure I did. I can guarantee I'm gonna miss a ton of stuff while playing this. I'll go back for it eventually. Oh, that was a close call. I'll bet you there might be something right here. Yep. Hearts. Cool. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, there's a cloud. Darn it! I wonder if I can go back. We have to go back. Nope, I'm guessing not. This looks like, looks like a boss. I think this is probably the same boss we saw at E3 last year. Or during a treehouse stream. Yoshi baby. Big Montgomery. Oh wait, no, this it wouldn't be. So this is a new boss. Okay. Oh, nope. Hurt him. You have to fire a big one at him? I'm guessing that his belly button is a weak point. Oh, I've got one egg left. <laughs> See how this goes. I can't interact with him here. Did I just jump on him? Oh. oh. Going for it. Yeah, bust dump him. Oh, you just jump on him. Well, that's easy. And then you bust dump him. Okay. I wasted all my eggs for that. Whoa! Can you eat that? No. I guess that makes sense. That looks like that'd be a pretty painful thing to eat. Okay, I've done worse. I'm cute, but I'm still gonna eat ya. Yep. Sounds about right. Okay, I got 50 stamp patches, earning you some new stamps. Congrats, alright. And a new power badge. Where are we going now? Going on to world 1-5 it looks like. Yup. Nitty Naughty Windmill Hill. Let's do it. I love the windmill level in uh, Tropical Freeze, so this can, if it's even half as good, I'll be happy. Oh, you can eat the trees. I get the last one. I don't know why I'm totally inconsistent about that. Oh, 
both could be bad. Oh, what have I done? And I made it! And I could just drop it on the ground right there, but that seems less, that seems a little bit less impressive now. <laughs> Whatever. So we actually did ask, um, we had the interview with, uh, uh, Tezuka and, uh, oh, I forget his name right now, unfortunately, but two of the developers of Mario Maker and Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, so we actually did ask him some Yoshi's Woolly World questions as well. We cut them from the interview, though, because we focused mostly on Mario Maker. Um, so we may post something about that at some point. Uh, maybe on Twitter or something. But they gave, uh, they talked a little bit about the inspiration for the visual behind the game, which I think they've done a bunch before already. And they there's a couple of other interesting things about the game. Yeah, I, I did. I did. I did like how just um, enthusiastic they seem to be in both producing this game and Mario Maker. Like the developers of Nintendo, if anything, are passionate, and that is always something that's good to see. Doing that interview, by the way, was really cool. I mean, Tezuka is. You know, he, he's made some of my favorite games of all time. So it was pretty amazing being able to actually interview him in person. Or even at all, but especially in person. So if you didn't watch a Mario Maker interview, I would recommend checking it out. There's some pretty good details in there, I think. In hindsight, there's even more I wish I would have asked him, but... Oh no! Prom plant! It's not cool, man. I don't know what his end game is. Like, why did he eat me? He spit me out. He obviously doesn't like how Yoshi's taste, but he would do it again in a heartbeat. As I collect hearts. Maybe you do get a little bit of a lift from jumping on enemies. It's really hard to tell. Oh no! That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, where are you going? Come back! What the hell? I'm very confused. Okay, it's gonna attach it to something. Here we go. At the goal once again. <laughs> Flaming Kong says I suck at everything. I challenge you to a Splatoon duel, good sir. Or Stormers FX. Take your pick. I will destroy you. Alright, people want to see the amiibo. Fine, I'll show you the amiibo. Jeez. You guys can learn how to ask nicely. God, didn't your parents teach you any manners? Like, don't type in all caps? And how to use a magic word? What's the kids these days? Get off my lawn. Get off my yarn! I was gonna check out the amiibo. Alright, we'll go to the little amiibo house over here. Amiibo hut. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of amiibo here, so I won't be able to show off too much. Um, but in fact, you can see all the ones I've scanned in. I think that is it. Let me do a quick check. I think. Yeah, I think that's all my amiibo. So I don't have a. Oh, did I do? Yeah, I did do Link. So yeah, that's all of them. I tried scanning in Yoshi, and Yoshi does not work. I'll show you. So you can just do it at any point on this main screen. 
And yeah, it just brings up this. Um, touch a Yoshi Amiibo to the gamepad while, of course, have another double Yoshi join you. So we'll do that, actually, uh, once we hop into a level here. Before that, we will... Actually, let's see what happens if I try to rescan an Amiibo. We'll do the boys platoon. Platoon boy. Inkling boy, whatever. Okay, so he just turns your Yoshi into it automatically. So yeah, they all automatically all appear right here, so you don't have to rescan them, which is nice. We have Link Yoshi, Kirby Yoshi, Mario Yoshi, and Inkling Boy Yoshi. So, the Kirby one looks really disturbing to me. It looks like he had his skin, like, peeled off or something. And I can go in for a close-up view at any time, too, like that. Yeah, that's like, that's skinless Yoshi. That's not cool. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Link Yoshi. I like that. Plus, they already had that, uh, Zelda level, or that Yoshi level in... Uh, Sonic Lost World, so this is only fitting, or... Or actually, the Zelda level, rather, I should say. And the Yoshi levels. That's perfectly fitting. This combines... We just need the Sonic Amiibo and we're set. Alright, so let's go ahead and go on... We're, we're gonna go adventuring as Link Yoshi. And then maybe we'll try the uh, skinning in a second Yoshi. 1-6. Shy but deadly. So Angelica says she's watching our stream of Yoshi's Woolly World instead of studying for her midterm, and she regrets nothing. Happy to hear that, Angelica. Thank you for the kind words. Now I'm gonna do some very unkind things to these shy guys, like eat his bomb or whatever that was. Yeah, it was a bomb. And I ate him too. Oh, that guy's got a speed. Man, these guys are. Man, they're equipped now, dude. This is not good. I think the shy guys are unhappy with me killing all their brethren in the previous levels. So we're actually seeing like uh, an evolving storyline as we're playing this game. The uh, this is the revenge of the shy guys. Whoa, that guy can do gymnastics. He's equipped to take down raptors. Oh, wow, look at- Man, these guys, they, they know all kinds of tricks. So do I. <laughs> oh, that's not how you get in there. I tried jumping over, that's not- Alright, well you got me. You win this time. Box. Present. Fenced in area. Oh, I needed those shy guys probably. Darn it. Just too fun to destroy them. Oh, surprise bomb. That is not a very nice present. <laughs> Look at that purple shy guy. That's kind of awesome. What could this mystery door be? Could it be a transformation? I'm gonna turn into a rainbow. Rainbow Yoshi. Whoa, I'm huge. Mega Yoshi! Nothing can stop a Mega Yoshi. Press B for a tail swipe. Boom. Alright. So this is actually, we actually saw this transformation way back in the, uh, or a transformation like this in the original pictures unveiled for this game. Like two, over two years ago. So this is basically like a Mega Mushroom it looks like. So you do get that unique move which is cool. Oh, 
Oh, I need that clock! I should have butt stomped. Come on, go, 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 go! No! Oh, God. I was so close. I was gonna go back in. Okay, well, that's... Man, that... Like I said, nothing really changes. I'm just wasting your time at this point. And I'm okay with that. I guess I'm wasting my time, too, but... If you're still watching, I win. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There we go. Yeah, I felt like I was moving a lot faster that time, but I still only had three seconds left. Come here, shy guy! Yeah, I bet, I bet you regret mobilizing against me now, huh? Something I can destroy. Oh, what's this? And there are secrets all over the place. bomb here. Hmm. I get up there. Come here, shy guy. Alright, I probably destroyed something I need. Oh, can I just... those out at some point. Maybe. Oh! Come back! I don't need that bomb. bomb. Okay. Alright, should we try a different Oh, I forgot scanning the amiibo. Right, we'll do that next next level. Scanning the Yoshi amiibo. And we'll maybe we'll switch to a different uh, Yoshi skin too. Because why not? Out of curiosity, let's see if we can scan them in here. I'm guessing we can't. Nope, you cannot scan them in here. And is there a quick way to get back? No, so it looks like we have to run back. Back to Craft Island. 
Let's see what else is uh, what else is over here? I haven't really explored it yet. Scrapbook theater. Amiibo. Okay, let's check out scrapbook theater real quick. Cool, we can listen to music, view enemies, and that looks to be about it. Oh, come back here, shy guy. We can zoom in. Oh, you get so you actually make him uh, animate, I think, by pressing. No, is that what I'm doing? Yeah, if you press A, you can make him uh, jump. That's cool. Can't do anything with a shy guy tower. Or the prom plant. Alright, cool. And yeah, so that's that. Alright, let's switch over to, uh, I'm thinking skinless Yoshi. It's like Inside Out Boy from the Nickelodeon cartoons. Which I'll bet most of you don't even know what I'm talking about. Because you're too young. Skinless Yoshi it is. Let's get out of here. Hull wants us to do the Inkling Amiibo. We'll do that one next. We'll do the Inkling Boy uh, after a few more levels. Okay, 1-7. And, let's see here, you wanna wear a badge? Fall into a pit, no problem. That sounds good, that's expensive. Power up ground pound. Let's try that. All right, I got my Yoshi amiibo ready, we're gonna... We're gonna go double on the skinless Yoshis here. There we go. Okay, that's adorable. You cannot help but love that. Oh, I just ate the other one. Oh, he just took damage. Oh, that's so that's weird now. That now they're like they're really spaced apart. Oh, this is really weird. It's a little bit like the uh, double cherry item from 3D World. Come here, purse. So I should have a stronger ground pound, too. What might this do? Oh, puts the other one into an egg, okay. Oh, he's an egg now. I'm easily entertained. So that makes it way easier. So you basically have a perpetual egg around. If need be. Although, I wasn't paying attention. Do we share a health bar? This we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Get over here, Yoshi. This color skin's totally throwing me off. I keep thinking the uh, the green Yoshi is my primary one, but nope. Although now now he is, it looks like. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I don't know how these person enemies evolved to be purses. You would think that'd be a uh, not a very like how would natural selection even allow for that? I, mean, I guess I mean I guess there probably too many natural predators that go for after purses. But I don't know. It's too many questions. It's like Cars World. Nothing about it makes sense. Oh, Motorcycle Yoshi! This... this is awesome. Moto Yoshi. Defy enemies and gravity with Yoshi's blinding speed. Oh, and jump with A, of course. Of course, game. Why do you tell me that? Whoa, this is pretty fast. Dang, look at him go! Alright, this is pretty cool. This is pretty fun. Whoa! That is cool! Doing those loops. Oh, okay, well, the other Yoshi's gone. He's back. Oh, I've got a horn? Oh, yes. Transformation of the year confirmed. Take that, Splatoon, your squids. Watermelon seeds. Oh, I just lose it. I did just lose it. We need another one here. If I stop eating them, I don't remember. So yeah, this is yeah, another element that returns to Yoshi's Island. Come on, Yoshi. Get them both. Here we go, they both have watermelons now. Playing with two Yoshis is a little bit confusing. <laughs> it takes uh, a higher level of coordination than I'm used to. Okay, we made it, both of us. So if you're just joining us, I the reason I had two Yoshis is because I scanned in the Yoshi amiibo, which gives you a temporary uh, duplicate of your Yoshi. So you're basically controlling two at once. And I have a feeling we're going to lose him now. Up next this is the final level. Looks like it. One dash eight. What does this guy have to say? Same things earlier, I think. And power up the ground pound. Fall into a pit, no problem. Let's we'll make all the yarn balls big again. That's pretty cheap and pretty useful. So. It will come in handy for the boss. 
Bird the Bachelor's Castle, alright. I feel so naked now, just having, well, one, being skinless. And two, <laughs> um, now having my second Yoshi here now. I guess I could just scan him in. Oh, God. Oh, that looks like a secret up there. And that looks like a secret right there, too. So these voice samples really do sound like the same classic Yoshi we've heard for decades now. <laughs> I remember them saying there was one game, I can't remember what game it was, where they finally went back and re-recorded Yoshi for like the first time in like 10 or 15 years or something. I don't remember what game that was though. And for whatever reason though, they don't like giving Yoshi new voice samples that often. Alright, these birds. They're gonna annoy me. What's up here? It's just a flower. I don't want just. I don't want a flower. I want a key for that door. Where's the key? I have a feeling I missed it. something down there too. Oh, let's try that again. I'm guessing that is probably the key. Yep. What's getting here? Hearts. I needed them, so this is all good. Oh, I just went back to the control stick. That was a mistake. Yeah, control pad is definitely better for this game. I already, I already went there. pretty ballsy. Get it? Because they're yarn balls. Yeah. Oh, Bert! Oh, 
That is a lot of birds here, dang. And looks like we're at the boss. Which I have an inkling is gonna be a giant bird. I don't know what I don't know why I think that. So fried balls apparently found my kills on two video. I never actually I didn't review it. I only appeared on the uh, discussion video for GameSpot. That did the guide for it, but I did not review it. I would not have been kind to it had I had I reviewed it. Oh, he looks awesome. I mean, weird, but awesome. Oh, so you actually have to pull down his trousers in this one? That does not seem... That uh, seems a little bit, uh, mature for Yoshi. So this is totally different from how it played in Yoshi's Island. That's cool. Oh, poor Bert. He's embarrassed. Oh, should grab those. Now we're on our way to World Two. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Just aid levels. A lot of times they're a little bit excessive. All right, got 100 stamp patches now, and new power badge. And here comes World Two. Looks like it's a desert theme. What a surprise! World Twos are almost never deserts. All right, so we are going to keep streaming for now, I think. Uh, however, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to end this video right now. Um, again, if you're watching live right now, stay put. We're not going anywhere. Um, but if you're watching YouTube, you can stick around later for part two of this stream. will be, be going up at some point later, whenever I get around to it.